Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. Today I'm just doing a short video. I really just wanted to show you guys this very cute Mickey Mouse bowl and lid set that I got and kind of just tell you about it. And I also want to know from you guys what kind of color combinations you think would be really cool to see in this bowl. I'm planning on making quite a few of them for my website update that's coming out next week with all my new keychains too. So let me know what colors you guys would like to see. Today's colors, I'm doing a deep violet acrylic ink, um, a satin white acrylic paint, gold loaf, gold loaf, gold leaf imitation leafing, and some clear, and the mica powder, the rose gold mica powder, it's not actually rose gold, this color, it came in like a huge set of bath bomb mica powders that I got when I first started resin, but I'm out of rose gold, and I thought that this color just looked very rose gold to me, it really matches the leafing here, so that is what I'm calling it, it is a rose gold mica powder. And then um, something that I really wanted to point out for the lid, if you're doing it, I almost had a disaster with the lid. Well, I still did, but this would have been worse. So the lid, um, when I poured into it, it just started getting like huge bubbles on the side, like right under the lip there. And I didn't notice it at first, so it, it would have been really bad. I would have had lots of holes in it. But all I did was kind of just push down on the lip there and push the bubbles out into the open. And then I could like just pop them. I was just using a bobby pin. I didn't want to use too much heat right around the edges. But definitely make sure you check your edges. Um, the bottom of the bowl was not that bad. I would still kind of push out just to see if there's any bubbles, but I didn't have a lot of trouble with the bowl. So check out the video at the end of what they look like completely done. This turned out so pretty, and I am so excited to do more of these. So I got this bowl and lid mold from Bear Mountain Designs. If you guys have seen a lot of my coaster videos, then you know that I love my coaster set from them. And they have updated their molds a ton since last time I was on their website. I actually bought a dish bowl from AliExpress a couple days before I bought this bowl mold. And it still is not here, probably won't be here for a month. And I saw the exact same dish mold on their site. Plus I got some very cute like earring molds. They have all kinds of cute molds. So if you're looking for a good place to get some quality molds, definitely go check them out. I also saw that they have a new big tray. You have to pre-order it, but I know that's something a lot of people have been looking for. So go check them out. All of um, the materials I used will be listed in the description below, along with the website to Bear Mountain Designs. Um, definitely stay tuned, you guys, for the other bowl videos to see different colors and techniques that I'm going to try out in this. And for the website update video, I'm probably going to announce it in my keychain video. I have gotten a lot of new glitters from Laura's Art Corner on Facebook. They're some of the most beautiful glitters that I've bought. And I've made a lot of new keychains. I'm going to be making some bowls with them. So um, check that out. It'll probably be out sometime next week. And I'm going to show you guys how I actually made the keychains into keychains in the video. So if that's something you have been looking forward to or have been wanting to do, that'll definitely be out next week. Thank you guys so, so much. Oh, also, when you guys get to the video of the demolding of this, I'm going to show you guys a little spot on this lid that was messed up. And what that was from is this ink that I used. It wasn't completely mixed up. Um, and I've used this ink a lot of times. and I've never had this happen. But there was a little part of the ink that was not mixed. So the ink just sat at the bottom of the mold and it kind of created like a little bubble I guess you could say it was like an ink bubble so that's where that little mess up is from on the lid so let me know what you guys think of this pretty bowl and what kind of colors you'd like to see and thank you guys so so much I will catch you guys all later bye